Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. It is Sunday, so that means Chandelar time. Let's go. And last week I defeated the Black Wizard, and I believe that this week we're going to go into a dungeon, exactly the path of Kronos. So it contains small white creatures, one deck for all duels, life loss carried over, crusade permanently in effect. Hmm, okay, crusade permanently in effect. So let's take a look at our decks. I could go with this. I mean, this is a killer deck, but it's not super good against these smaller creatures. I don't have disenchant, for example. So I could also decide to stick with my uh, white black deck. Would need to take some anti black deck out. Um, I have to say, it's looking pretty good also with the moats and the Sarahs. Maybe I'm just gonna keep this deck. And I have two slots left open for other stuff. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. First, I check out white. White. Mm, how many disenchants am I playing? Two disenchants. Maybe I should play three disenchants. Could go for another moat. Wrath of God. Maybe that's kind of good as well, just to wrath the board. Hmm. Or should I go for something cooler? Let's check out it. We've got some Abomination is cool. Works against white creatures. I got three Abomination. And that's pretty cool as well. You know what? I'm going to play with Abomination. I'm going to kind of leave the modes out just to try something new. I'm going to play Abomination. One, two, three. Three. Three abominations. Why not? That's cool. Um, okay, so where is this Kronos again? South of Windless Keep. Okay, so we got to try to find Windless Keep. Where is Windless Keep? Hmm. No music, by the way. Normally this, this, this game makes so much music. There's nothing. Direction... Another keep, we're looking for windless keep, windless glade. Hmm. Is it me or is there no windless keep on the map? You know what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna start touring around and then I'm gonna check the card a few times. Hopefully I'll find windless keep. We're just gonna do that. So we've got windless glade, so maybe just go towards windless glade. Trade white amulets for any sorceries. Let's go. Accept tribute, a spell from my deck. Let's give me food. Where is Windless Keep? Ooh, what's this? Oh, the Green Whispers crushed. Of course, these are the remains. Let's go battle the shapeshifter. Duel the shapeshifter. Ooh, I can win for Skellion. That's pretty sweet. Trike is a good card, and I still want to make that deck with archaeologists, so. Select the power. Um 6-1. Look at this, Black Lotus. I could do. Do turn one Hypnotic Spectre, let's do that. Black, crack the Lotus, play Hypnotic Spectre. Mm, I'm not gonna play Weakness, I'm gonna hope that he changes, maybe Shapeshifter for one toughness. Oh, wow, that's tough. You gotta take the damage. Okay, in that case, I am gonna play a Weakness. Let's attack. Hey, now it's a zero again. I guess I choose the power toughness of the shapeshifter and it stays that way? Ooh, a backfire, that's annoying. So what happens now is if I attack, I'm gonna take two damage from the backfire, but he 
also takes two and he discards a card. So I think we're gonna attack nonetheless. More damage. Oh, unstable, do you see that? So he's got a 5-5. Five, five. Oh man. He's playing super aggressive. Um You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on blocking duty. I'm a little I'm a little worried. <laughs> you know, if he if he does it again, I'm on eleven, right? So and next turn I can play Abomination, which is a great blocker. Oh, two two creature with flying. Okay. I'm gonna cast Abomination. There we go. I mean, I can I can play weakness on the primal clay and then attack again with the hypnotic specter. I do think it's it's worth it to, or I could attack with the abomination because then I don't take damage. I'm gonna attack because I want I want him to lose cards. Ooh, yeah, look at that. He lost the power struggle. I'm so happy with that power struggle. Horrible card to play against. Do, 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 do. The problem is I have no idea where the dungeon is, right? Mm, you know what? I'm going to attack with both. I'm going to play another Abomination. The problem with Abomination is that it only has two power. It would be quite nice if it had some more power. Like it's it's actually it's not it's a pretty good card for just for five mana, right? I mean pretty good, but it's it could be useful. You never see it when you're at an old school tournament these days, which is a shame. Um Does it make sense to attack with yeah, let's just attack with two. Like, I no longer want to attack with Hypnotic because he's got, like, no cards in hand. Now he's got one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to block. I'm going to trade. Let's attack! I mean, now I've got the sword, so even if he finds like an unstable on the primal clay and starts swinging in, I can sword in response. Mm. Ooh, tower, yeah, but he doesn't have a lot of cards, so that's fine. You cast your tower, buddy, I don't mind. Let's attack. Play a mox. Fast a turn. Mmm, Hercules Recall. That's a funny way, right, to untap your Mana Vault. Like, I like that. Hercules Recall in general, I think, is a very useful card. Ooh, 2-2 two, two creature worth flying. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to attack because she has to block or else she's going to die. So she's going to lose her 2-2 two, two flyer. Exactly. Then I'm going to cast Thunder Spirit. Fast turn. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So it looks like we're going to win our first battle of the day, which is not too shabby. Okay, uh, trade blue amulets for black cards. No, thank you. Where am I? Windless Glade is here. Hmm. Windless Keep. Oh, here's Windless Keep. Great! So I'm just going to go down and south of Windless Keep, right? Let me just check. South of Windless Keep. Okay. Cool beans. Uh, let's go down. Down, down, down. Now, hey, there's what's something there. You know what? I'm just going to ignore it. Down, down, down. 
Let's see, do I have something with Mallory's? You failed to complete your last quest for this village. Okay, I'm sorry, man. Nikichisa. Jeez. That was a long time ago, man. Got to move on in life. Okay, so it's got to keep saying this? Whatever, man. I am not coming back to your village. I mean, I'm battling all the wizards for you guys. This one again? This is the thank you I get? Preposterous. Begin a quest. To the Keeper of Windless Glade. Okay, where is that? That's over there. Oh, uh, I want to have a mana link. Okay, I'm going to accept the quest. But then I'm going to go to that dungeon thingy. Windless Glade. Hey, we got an extra mana link. We're at 22. Trade green amulets for any sorceries. I don't really need anything at this point. Uh, I'm just going to go down again. We got to get to the dungeon. Get to the dungeon. Okay. Uh, sea Dragon is attacking something, I know, but I really want to begin a quest, a mana link. I want a mana link, but I don't want a mana link. I want to go to this, accept tribute, 150 gold. We should be getting close to the dungeon, am I right? There's the castle, the black castle that we destroyed last time. Okay, here's Windless Keep. Come on, where is that path of Kronos? Um, south of Windless Keep. It's partly in the... Oh, lost a mana link. Hey, there it is. We found it. We found it. Wow, you see, the sea dragon is attacking like crazy. How many cities does he have? Two only. Okay, so I can... Ah, two black amulets. Okay, I'm gonna go into the dungeon. Let's do it, people. The Paths of Kronos. Okay, I'm getting some extra life. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's battle the priestess. Ooh, she gets a start. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Oh, I get to start. Uh, only a factory. Ooh, this is not great. Contract from below, hypnotic specter, Sarah swords, scimitar contract. So, problem, obvious problem here is mana. I mean... Oh, oh no. Oh, man. <clears throat> I wouldn't say a bad word. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but this, this is bad. This game, oh no, there's a 2-2 flyer. Oh no, no, I gotta discard something. I'm gonna discard my contract. Because I've got another one in. Oh no, oh man. This is gonna be a huge beating. At least I got a black mana. I gotta play the contract, right? Can I afford to wait for a potential? I mean, I'm on 23. I'm gonna wait one, one turn. I'm going to wait one turn, and then if I don't draw into white mana, that's it. Of course, Spirit Link. Jeez. Okay, look, white mana, that's good. Um, so what I can do is I can attack for two, and then when he attacks, I can play his swords. So change to Assembly Worker. You need the black. Done. Let's attack. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's good. Priestess on 11. Oh, you're attacking? I got news for you, buddy. Get him, boys. Sure, you take some life. 
Take some light. Um, I could contract now, but I don't think I'm gonna. Why is the Paladin still in my deck? Why don't I take my time to think about these things? Why didn't I take out the Paladin? Anyway, put him on 12, past turn. If he plays a creature, swords. I mean, I can still contract next turn. There we go, Wall of Swords. Swords to Plowshares. Drain life. It is a way to gain life. Drain life. Uh, change assembly worker. I think I'm going to wait one more turn. If I then don't draw any mana next turn, I'm going to play out the contract. Maybe I should have done it already. Probably should have done it this turn. Hmm. Look at that. She's not doing anything. That's good. Oh, disenchant. Mm. I'm going to disenchant a crusade. I'm going to play the contract. Okay, that's pretty cool. Well, is it? Is it actually? This is not great. Um, can play the Lotus. Wow. This game, first I don't draw mana, then I play an, an, a contract and it's only mana. Um, ooh, Abomination. I love it. I'm gonna cast Abomination. Oh, but I should have played a Swamp. Do I wanna sack my Lotus for Abomination? Of course I want to sack my loads for Abomination. That is the play of the day. Go Abomination! One, ooh, almost got a lot of mana burn. Play Abomination. Change to Assembly Worker. Great. Pump Assembly Worker. Important part of this game is clicking. Yay, let's go. I can't imagine the priestess being really scared right now. Like seeing that abomination going like, oh, this is why I always pray to the Lord. Yep, you're in trouble. <clears throat> Abomination's coming after you. Uh, let's have a look. Let's animate these two, right? And just swing in for six. I'm gonna put the priestess on nine. She's on a uh, three turn clock right now. Past a turn. I should probably sort my own creature to gain some extra life. Oh, wall of swords. That's not cool. You know what? I'm gonna attack with abomination. Let's see what he does. What she does, I should say. So remember, Abomination has this ability, right? If it's blocked by any green or white creatures, it's destroyed. Problem is those Ivory Cups, though. Oh, Fortified Area, which is a super cool card. I mean, but the annoying thing here is he's going up to 11. Um, let me just attack first. Hmm. I am really considering playing the swords on the wall to just finish this game. Hmm. Wall of Spears, okay. Am I gonna play a swords on a wall of spears? I think I kinda have to. That's a first. <laughs> Oh, and then I draw into my hippie. Of course, of course. Um, let's attack. I have to say the abomination is doing work. Like he's, she doesn't want to block it, right? She's like, I want to keep my wall. Mm. Elder landworm, okay. 
Well, let me read the abomination again. Destroy the creature at the end of combat. Okay, so you do take damage from the creatures. Hmm. Let's use a strip mine. Let's strip a land away. I should have done that before. Let's say fortified areas of walls have banding with other walls. Oh, they gain banding. Also, oh, he can divide the damage, but it's about being blocked. You know what? I'm going to attack with the abomination. I think if he double blocks, my abomination dies, but both his creatures also are destroyed because they've been declared as blockers, right? Because it's not about damage or whatever. So that should work. Anyway, it's just taking the damage. So Elder Landworm, by the way, another super cool card. I really like this deck of the Priestess. Super cool. Um, what to do, what to do, I'm just going to keep attacking. I mean, I again have to give compliments to this game, because every time the matches are not what I expect them to be, so that's, that's really nice. Wall of Spears, that's a problem. Hmm. Dancing Scimitar. Did I put a Wrath of God in my deck? Because I think I didn't. Because in all my wisdom, I decided to go for three Abomination instead. That was a pretty stupid decision. I'm kind of stuck now. Hmm. Of course, another castle. Okay, I've got a sword. Okay, I've got a plan. I'm going to attack. Okay, he's just gonna block on that, okay. I was hoping he would like do a banding block with the Wall of Swords, and I would then sort of plow shares the wall before damage was declared, but. Yeah, wasn't meant to be. I think I'm gonna destroy the Wall of Spears. And then just keep attacking with Abomination, hopefully drawing to a second Abomination. He's, he's gaining so much life. How big, wait a minute, how big is the... Oh, the Wall of Swords is a 4-9. I should attack with my Scimitars. Why am I not attacking with my Scimitars? Okay, next turn I'm going to swing in with Dancing Scimitar, Dancing Scimitar, and Abomination. I am a little bit scared of a Wrath of God as well. I don't know if she plays that, but... Hey, doing some damage. She's on 12. Spirit Link, of course. And then you play it on your Elder Landworm. Okay, that's, um, yeah, not smart. I guess we cannot all be winners. Um... Let's attack. Okay, okay. I mean, it's, 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 my plan is slow. But it is, you know, she's getting down. She's on 11. She was on 12 a turn ago, so. It would be nice if she would stop casting white stuff. Okay, that's something. Wall of Spears, but that's not what I wanted to happen. 3 7. Uh, Okay, I made a new plan. I'm gonna weakness on Wall of Swords. Does that help? It doesn't really actually. Uh, and I'm gonna attack. If she fi finds a way to get the Elder Landworm, you know, as an attacker, I have a huge problem. Okay, Thunder Spirit. Uh, these two two creatures are just not going to work against that wall. I think I'm going to keep it in hand. Maybe if she casts like a Wrath of God, then at least I've got a Thunder Spirit. And if I cast Thunder Spirit now, I'm going to basically give her two life. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I've got four Sarah Angels in the deck somewhere. If 
If I can find one more weakness, I guess, then I can start attacking with Hippie. Another Thunder Spirit. Uh, let's attack. I have to say this is not the most exciting match I've ever played, but I am getting there. Uh, oh, I should play the Spirit Link. Why am I pressing that enter button so quickly? I'm going to play a Spirit Link on the Wall of Swords, I think. Ooh, Sir Angel. Wow, that is nice. Uh, let's first attack. This is great. I'm going to play Sarah Angel. I know, you're going to get a lot of life. I know this. I'm, I'm sorry, it's going to take a little bit longer. But the most important thing for me here is that I can make some life. I wonder if I attack with Spirit Link Sarah Angel, if he's just gonna block on Wall of Swords. I think he will, or she will, so that means I gain four life. Ah, Pikeman. Let's go Swamp. Let's go. Hey, yes, this, look at my life total, up to 24, this is ideal. I mean, I need at least four more swings. That means I get 16 more life. That would be super good. Let's go. Guess I could play another Swamp. I honestly don't know how many Drain Life I play in this deck, because a Drain Life would be great now as well with the two Dark Rituals. I think I play a one-off, though. Ooh, lots of life, lots of life. Another Abomination, cool. Let's attack. Ooh, I could cast Abomination, and then I could go Disenchant. On end step on the wall of spears. Ooh. That would be it. I just want to attack with the abominations, you know? I just want to see what he's going to do. Uh, on end step. Okay, I'm going to disenchant. Mm, Mark's Jack. Let's put the hand over here. Let's be done. Ooh, a healing salt. Of course, you take some more life. Jeez Louise. Okay, first we have our Air Force, and then we've got the Abominations to attack with. Let's go. Okay, this plan is working. She's on seven. The question is, do I want to kill her already? Right, because I mean, I'm making lots of life. I think I'll go, I think I do want to kill her because I mean, I'll just, I'll just slow it down a little bit. Oh, reverse damage. Ah, oh, that's such a cool card. Reverse damage, I love it. Don't like the art though of this. I love the old art. So all damage dealt you so far this turn from one source is added to your life instead, which is really cool against like channel fireball decks. Like reverse damage that used to be a card. Back in the day. When I was still a young Timmy, that was a serious card. You still see it in some sideboards, I guess, but a double white makes it difficult. If it was one white and two, I think you should see it. You would see it more frequently. Although, yeah. Anyway, uh, Wall of Swords. Hmm, that wall is big enough to kill my angel, so I gotta play the weakness on it. Okay, let's go. Weakness onto the Wall of Swords. And I drew into Abomination number three. All my Abominations that I own are now on the board. 
I own one real paper copy, by the way. Yeah, at the reprints, but one OG from Legends. Oh, he's double blocking. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't see that coming. And they have banding, so it's... Yeah, okay. Anyway, I've got the abominations. I'm on 48, so it should be fine. I hope. Please, don't, don't, just let me please finish this. Okay. Abomination, abomination, abomination. He, he has to block, right? Let's, let's, let's see. Oh, healing solve. Okay, so he's going to go down two. Hmm, that is disappointing. I could play another hypnotic. I should have attacked with a hippie, actually. Hmm, animate wall. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I uh, know, dude. Um, what is wisdom? So he's got two walls. He doesn't want to block the abominations. Uh, I'm just gonna attack with the with the abominations. Let's see what he does. What she does. Ooh, killed something with abomination. That's good. Then I'm happy, you know? Then I'm happy. That's a check. Used abomination. Ooh, another animate. He just wants to tank life. It's going to be really difficult to kill this opponent here. She just keeps gaining life. Okay. Killed Wall of Swords with abomination. I hope when you watch this video that you now too want to play with Abomination. Let me know in the comments below because then I've done my work for Magic the Gathering. Um, I mean, I love cards like Abomination, right? The real the Timmy cards. I'm also going to attack with Dancing Scimitar. Look, and I got this little mouse that can run. That can show the whole battlefield and the mouse can run back. Very cool. I love those little details in this game. Um, okay. You're on two. I'm almost there. If you play a Wrath of God now or a Fortified Area and you gain life again. Oh, uh, I think if I just attack with everything. Let's do it. Finally. Oh, two treasures. Copy artifact. Super cool. We want to have that ivory tower, though. Abomination. Ooh, yay, ivory tower. Yes. I clicked that away way too quick. But look at that. I'm going to start with an abomination. I'm going to make a screenshot here. That is really funny. I'm going to start with an abomination. Um... Let's see, let's wander a little bit more. I think there are only three treasures, right, in a dungeon. I think. So this will be the last one. Hmm, let's go. Uh, do I want to take a mulligan? Oh, my auntie is abomination as well. This is really an abomination dungeon. Swamp. And a scrubland, Thunder Spirit, Swords, Disenchant. No, Demonic. I've got a really good hand. I'm going to start the duel. I've got a really good hand. Look, Demonic and Hypnotic. So I can, I can Demonic as well next turn. Probably should Demonic for a contract from below. Let's first attack. I'm just going to pass, I think, because on end step, I'm going to disenchant the crusade. Okay, we're there now already. And let's see what I'm going to draw. Okay, Sarah Angel, then I'm going to demonic. Mm. Should probably go for the contract. 
Although it's tempting to go for another abomination. <laughs> I cannot play it out, but still. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for the contract. Let's put the Paladin on 10. Ooh, a Swamp. Hypnotic. Attack. I need, I really need more Spirit Links. Like this last duel also showed that Spirit Link is so good. Ooh, Karma. Okay, okay, okay. That's annoying. Mm, should I play Contract? No, because I've got swords and weakness to answer any creature threats, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm winning. So, and this is the last treasure, right? So after this, I'm gonna leave the uh, the dungeon. Ooh, a paladin. Yeah, I shoot swords. I shoot swords. Although you probably had to block the abomination, that would have been cooler. That would have been cooler. Um, scimitar. Ooh, a white knight. Abomination. Okay, so this is the jewel, so we're gonna go out. Okay, let's have a look. So we got the artifact. Mm -hmm. And again, I mean, Ivory Tower works so well with um, uh, with all the draw sevens, right? With Contract from Below and, of course, with Time Twister. It's really nice. Uh, okay, begin a quest. Never mind. Oh, a Sea Dragon is attacking, so let's go to the Sea Dragon. Um, Duel the Sea Dragon. Hey, I get to start. Play first. Start the duel. So we've got Island, Swamp, Underground Sea, Time Walk, Hypnotic, Spectre, Contract. Okay. That is your regular overpowered crazy stuff that I have in my hand. Let's go Swamp. Let's pass a turn. I mean, it could have done Time Walk into Hippie or something, but... Ooh, it's giving me another Swamp. Okay. Uh, going for another Spectre. Even more Swamps. Okay. Um... I guess I should Time Walk, right? Because then I can empty his hand. Yeah, let's do that. Got to do the smart, responsible thing. I just wanted to play to Timmy, but... I could do that now. First things first, though. Let's play Underground Sea. Do Ancestral Recall for one blue. Draw three cards. Maybe we'll find another Time Walk. Yeah, we do. And we've got a Tutor. Hmm... This deck is just this deck is just a tiny bit overpowered. A little bit. We'll find another time walk. Um let's go. Let's attack. And go another time walk. Hmm, what are we supposed to do next? Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's see. I have my multi. Let's just attack first. Play my multi. Hmm, <laughs> Yay! And 
I can ping him, ping him to death, the sea dragon. Hey, I've won. Okay, let's let's have a look. So, um, I think what I need to do, and I think I'm going to do this next time, is I'm going to see if I can make like a hundred card deck. Um, because I read that one of the problems playing against like the end boss after I've defeated the blue wizard um, is that you can run out of cards, right? Uh, so I don't want that to happen. So I think I'm going to do a white, blue, black deck, 100 cards, and I think I need some more life gain. So that's going to be my focus for the next episode. Um, because I think for now I'm happy with the way it goes. I think I've done all the dungeons. So I'm going to make the bigger deck uh, and I'm going to try to... Yeah, to get those cards and to make like the ultimate deck for the um, uh, for the final boss. I think that's my plan. If you've got any tips, let me know in the comments below. I'm just going to save for now before I forget. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Have a great week, great Sunday, and uh, see you next time. Sweet, sweet, sweet ivory tower. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Her light in the morning. Way day now she rises. Way day now she rises. Way day now she rises. Her light in the morning. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Her light in the morning. Way day now she rises. Way. Somebody can see.